Hello everyone, back tuning in to see this video, we're going to have another look at Christmas this evening, going to use CFS9, uh, midday run from uh, the website Micho Seal, um, and you can find a link to Micho Seal on my links page. This is the seventh update now, so we're getting on with it, uh, we've done quite a few updates, we haven't really had a train yet, but there's been a mishmash of different uh, stuff over the last few updates, different scenarios, um, so as I say, we've not really got a train yet, uh, we'll keep looking at it, and We'll see to, what to tonight's scenario is, and then we'll look at subsequent uh, nights as well. Now, before I get on with the Christmas forecast, just want to uh, talk about the advertising. There's a video ads on my pages at gazworthbiz.com. You hit play on the video ads, you'll be supporting gazworthbiz.com. Thanks very much for doing that. Uh, Gav Shop is open, so if you want to go to Amazon, do any Christmas shopping, do it through Gav Shop. Do, uh, go through the Amazon banners at Gav Shop. Um, you can do your Christmas shopping on Amazon as normal. But Gav's Weather Vids will get a royalty fee, and thanks very much for doing that. So we're going to start off on the 13th of December, and here we are. We've got a very cold northerly wind coming down across the country, with low pressure to the east and high pressure to the west and the northwest. That cold northerly wind will be bringing in a lot of snow showers to the north and the east of the country. So a very cold scenario there uh, through the middle of December. <coughs> now that uh, low pressure clears away, and then we sort of get a ridge of high pressure building across the country through in towards the 15th, uh, 16th, so that will keep it very cold, there'll be severe overnight frost, probably not a lot of snow, um, but certainly severe frost. And then you have this area of low pressure trying to come in, come in from the west and the southwest, that's coming up against that cold air, so that will bring heavy snow to Ireland, Wales and southwestern parts, being very, very cold, middle uh, part of December being signalled uh, on this uh, particular update. That low pressure sinks away as we move through to the 17th and 18th of December. And then we get high pressure building across the country again, uh, keeping it very cold through to the 18th of December with a lot of hard and severe overnight frost. Daytime temperatures uh, will be below freezing as well. But then that to high pressure gradually declines away as we move through to the 19th and on into the 20th. Low pressure really comes in with a vengeance, turning very wet and windy there through to the 19th and the 20th of December. Gale force winds with heavy bouts of rain sweeping across the coast. So a complete change as we move into the run up to Christmas. This is the 21st of December with low pressure, very deep low pressure to the north of Scotland. Gale force westerly winds. That's a very unsettled pattern indeed, but it's a lot milder than that at middle month period. So as we run up to uh, Christmas, it's going through to the 22nd on into the 23rd of December. We keep it unsettled, but as much as we get through to Christmas Eve, and on into Christmas Day, we get this build of pressure moving up from the south. So that settles things down as we go uh, through to Christmas itself. Very unsettled run up to Christmas. Um, but through to Christmas itself, you see Christmas Day, Boxy Day, high pressure is taking over. It's coming up from the south though, so it's pretty mild. I don't think it's particularly cold with that high pressure. Temperatures will perhaps be up to around 10 degrees on uh, Christmas Day. That's 50 Fahrenheit. Uh, of course, it depends on whether you get mist and fog uh, forming. If you do get mist and fog and that high pressure, it would be, would be a good deal colder. But uh, the high pressure is coming up from the south, so it's not coming up from, from a particularly uh, cold direction. That high pressure then dominates as we move through into Boxing Day and on into uh, the Christmas to New Year period. Um, drifting a little bit further east and pulling in somewhat colder air from the southeast actually. So I think as we go from Christmas to New Year we probably find it turning colder. There we are on the 28th bringing up. Well it's a slack southerly flow so you would look around and think it's a mile but I think actually we're probably bringing in some pretty cold low level continental air there'd be an increasing risk of the freezing fog there as well so it probably turns colder after christmas and moving through uh, up to the up to the new year uh well actually we bring in this cold east to southeast wind eventually as we go through um towards new year's eve that's a proper cold wind blowing in high pressures up over scandinavia um we're on the periphery of the cold but i think that is cold air moving in off the continent probably bringing snow showers in towards eastern parts of the country and then very quickly going beyond uh new year well then low pressures tries to come in off the atlantic we get a battleground uh, scenario with these low pressures coming up against the cold air to the east probably depositing quite a bit of snow 
So, uh, mixed bag there for uh, tonight's update. It looks as though we have uh, a very uh, very cold uh, middle part of December. Really, really cold middle part of December. Then, for a few days on the run up to Christmas, it turns very unsettled, stormy, with gales, heavy rain. Christmas itself, probably quite settled and mild. But after Christmas, it turns colder, uh, with winds coming in from the south, the southeast, eventually the east, uh, by New Year, bringing... <laughs> excuse me, bring cold air in from the east and no doubt the risk of snow showers as well and then beyond uh, the new year <laughs> we actually find where the system's trying to come in from the Atlantic proper battleground scenario would be snow as those uh, areas of low pressure come up against that cold air so a proper mix bad but for the actual Christmas period it's pretty settled and quite mild on tonight's update that's it for now, we'll do it all over again on Saturday that's all for now, thanks for watching